We have this chart basically showing you each of the seats that Labour is defending. So remember that these seats, that most, well, pretty much all grey at the moment, these are the seats Labour are defending. And at the start of the night, all of these were red, OK? So these are Labour seats. And it would take up to a 4% swing uh, for the Conservatives or indeed other parties to win these seats. So Reading East, Croydon Central would take up to 6%, Stoke-on-Trent Central, we're all west up to 8%. But look at this, up to 10% swing it would take to win Blythe Valley. We are starting. The first gain for the Tories is right at the end of the spectrum of what a lot of people expected. And this is Labour's red wall. You heard that talk about the red wall that Labour was defending. It wanted to withhold the Tories, particularly in these seats here. Well, right from the start, they have lost one on a pretty enormous swing, a 10% swing. And what's the story behind that? Well, Come back and have a look at this. We're going to actually kind of drill into a few of those seats. So let's drill into Blythe Valley and indeed some of the other seats. Come over here and see some of the stories kind of behind them. So this is the change in the share of the vote. You see the Tories up by 5.4%, but look at Labour down uh, by 15%. And Brexit Party up by 83 And then if we have a look at um, Houghton and Sutherland South, kind of, you know, similar story, actually Labour down 19% there in terms of the share of the vote. The Tories up by 3.2, Brexit up by 15.5%, obviously from a, from a start, it's kind of start of zero, effectively. Um, and here you have Newcastle, Pontine Central as well. It's a similar story. Labour just cratering votes across these constituencies. And what do Houghton and Sunderland South and Blythe Valley have in common? It is the fact that they are strong Brexit supporting areas. You know, it is the Brexit vote which might well decide this election. We talked about it being the Brexit election and how right that might well turn out to be. Have a look at this, the map of the UK with all the different constituencies. Let's take these and plot them against their Brexit vote. So that's the most remain over there, moving through here to kind of middle of the road to the most leave seats. And there we have Blythe Valley. So that's there. You can see they voted just around kind of 60% to leave the EU. And what we are potentially going to see, if the exit poll is right, is around this area, which is Labour's red wall, we're about to see a lot of these seats potentially turning blue, if the exit poll is to be believed. So we're going to be plotting all of these results against all of this. Now, in the past, it might have taken some days for people to work out this kind of analysis, showing you about how the map is changing, what kind of divisions we're seeing in this country. We're going to try and do it for you tonight over the course of the next few hours. So stay tuned as we get more of these numbers through.